Synergism. I misspelled it on purpose to expose the lie that somehow man helps God in order to be justified. Conditional salvation based upon works one must produce, rather than the Spirit himself working through you. I grab the rope and hold on as God pulls me ashore, they may say, when their life before Christ is in the grave, dead to the core. They say, but I believe in grace. But if you add your works, Jesus died in vain. Silly little paradox of the Arminian, looking to Pelagius for orthodox opinions. Saved by grace or works, it's both. Yet somehow there is no room to boast. But what about free will? Remember the quotes of Justin Martyr? Go ahead. Quote early church fathers. For me, I'll quote the Bible. Those in the flesh cannot please God, for starters. Far be it from me to boast except in the cross of Christ. I'm corrupted, depraved, wretched. Surely his work will suffice? No, says the synergist. His work is conditional. Exercise your free will and obey perfectly. There is no sin original. But don't you know that as many under the law are under a curse? You are obligated to keep the whole law, synergist, whose God's grace you pervert. I'm not against good works, they are evidence of the Spirit. Once born again, only then can one fear him. On the good soil and bad is the gospel sown, but it's by the will of God he gives the growth. Synergism. Consistency is lost with your moralistic system and such. True grace and beauty is that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. There is no warrant to sin, so often heard misrepresented. All who see the Savior with hearts enlightened have repented. Antinomian Ann Hutchinson was exiled from Boston for telling people to keep clutch in sin. Should we keep sinning that grace may abound? Only the blind would think that type of doctrine is sound. How can we help God? We cannot. Remember Romans 7? But praise God for its ending. Wretched am I before ultimate perfection. Praise be to God for sending the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the only grounds of my justification, and for me, Jesus is my peace, my joy, my life, my propitiation. It means we are sinners saved by grace and from God's wrath against sin. Praise God, many are inconsistent. Like classical Arminians, for instance. Catholics, Pelagians, don't get me started. Look at me! My works is what will be said before being discarded. Until then, we must do what we can to expose this doctrine. On the final day, it will be said to some, Well done, good and faithful servant. It was the Spirit all along that enabled us to serve Him.